Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I told you we got another one today. So here we are. We're starting from Lone Mountain Park, and then we're going to be going to Sam's Club and then El Pollo Loco. Because I had that crazy chicken yesterday, and it was just so fantastic. Let's have to try it again. So our first route here, we'll go ahead and hit done. We're looking at 4.2 miles, 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and engage drive, wait for FSD to charge up. Get that energy going. All right, we're ready. Let's navigate. As always, I'll let you know if I disengage or do any thro throttle, throttle presses. I can't talk today. We're in average mode, minimal lane changes turned off, automatic set speed turned on, and this is supervised full self-driving version 12.3.6. Our next update is at 10.55, so I'm glad I checked it now. We're still waiting for that 2024.14 spring update rollout, and I hope FSD is in there and 12.3. Four would be blowing my mind. We do have a pedestrian. We just saw her and we're slowing. I'm gonna go ahead and wave her on. Or she doesn't even care for a wave on. So FSD's taking charge here. We're clear to both sides. And we're in route, 4.3 miles. Pretty cool park here. Lots of beautiful parks here in Las Vegas. Check our map. I want to see what our full route looks like. So it looks like we're going to be taking a right here, which is, I wait, where are we at? I'm trying to get my bearings straight. So this is uh, Lone Mountain Road. So it looks like we're going to be cutting across, but then I do want to make a turn here. Anytime I get the opportunity to change the route and do some more city streets turns, I'm on it. Need a creep for visibility. Okay, I can kind of see. We're clear on from what I can see. Now we got this car, so we can't see what's going to happen with FSD. It's going to get stuck here. All right, we're going. We are clear. Again, some hesitation pulling out of uh, intersections, pulling out of stoplights, stop signs. It's kind of a new uh, bug behavior. But I'm sure it's smashed already because the version we're on now is not the real version. We are ahead of this. So we're just kind of stuck on it right now. And what I mean by that is they've already developed, they usually work about what, three to six months ahead of time. So like Elon is driving the alpha build like way ahead. So if he's starting to say it's doing really amazing, gotta take that to heart. What is going on? We're getting multiple errors. Was that because I had my window down? I was holding the steering wheel. I didn't see anything on the screen. And I have noticed this new behavior in the last couple, uh, in the last update or so. I want to say it happened one more time when I was filming. It happened another day also when I was just driving around. Or FSD was just driving around. I have to turn on the air conditioner. This GoPro is going to overheat. Now on the new Model 3, they do have it updated where you can, it'll keep this off and you can turn it back on. Get some air on this GoPro. Even with the nicest batteries, and but we are recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second, so that'll heat up the GoPro for sure. All right, we got another route. Perfect. Let's take a right. I love new routes. It's actually a pretty clear day here in Las Vegas. It feels like the haze has kind of settled down. Wow, that's a compound. I wanna see it's a pretty new compound as well. One thing in this area, the restrictions on the HO are much less, so like you have much more freedom. I see people building garages in the backyard, got casitas, sheds, very cool. All right, we've got a, we're slowing down for the pedestrian running here and rightfully slow, he's kind of running on the line. Maybe he's on FSD running beta. All right, we got our right turn coming up. A little bit slow, braking early. Let's see if we do a full stop. Well, of course, we're running right on red. What am I thinking? Okay, we're clear. Perfect. Wow, look at that garage. It's got the rooftop deck on top. Pretty sweet. You know, anything you want in this life, you can have it. You just have to really, uh, you have to stay focused. And then believe it or not, 
things will start happening in your in your reality that'll start leading you to those desires. So never give up on anything. And always keep negativity out of your mind. Because what you think about, you create. So if it's negative, then you're going to see negativity all day. But it's a beautiful day today. We've got some amazing construction ahead of us. <laughs> and we're going to go through it perfectly. Let's see what happens. We do have a couple of flaggers here. Are they going to put up the stop sign on us? No stop sign. It's kind of right in the middle. Interesting. I was ready for him to turn it and FSD to jam on the brakes. But we did perfect around that construction. So smooth. Natural. Any other routes? All right, we're changing the lanes. So smooth, almost no green, almost no, it's like we're just coasting. One thing about the new performance model that I really want to test out, and I probably won't use it that much, but I do want to go to the zero regen and drive around with zero regen. I could just imagine, yeah, that was something I wanted to do a while back. But actually now, I just don't even want to drive anymore. Just let FSE do it. So oh, I still want to test that out. All right, merge into the left lane, very good. So the average setting so far, it's pretty average. And I like that. Got the green protected left. Do you ever run into a stoplight and you're waiting for a couple minutes and you just start thinking about like BS that you have to handle later in the day? I don't know. I gotta let it go. All right, we're back. Ooh, it's getting chilly in here. Doing just a little bit under the speed limit here. We do have the automatic set speed on. We'll be taking a right and then a left into the shopping center through the Sam's Club, Club parking lot. I really want to see all the uh, traffic there, all the pedestrians. I love seeing how it behaves in the parking lots. Let's get in there smooth. Very good. Got the protected green right. We've got traffic on the left here. Smooth, no hesitation. Great lane trajectory. I love the sound of those performance model motors spinning up. It's like, all right, slight turning force in the steering wheel. left arrow on kind of looks like we're pulling into the um, what like the service center area which is not a bad idea and then going around the back remember I told y'all how FSD loves to go around the back of shopping centers here's another perfect example I wonder if they program that in kind of misses a lot of the opportunity for the pedestrians although we will go around the front but then to reroute we got to whip around so not great navigation in my opinion kind of just cruising back here slow and steady almost want to goose it and see what happens just see if it speeds up yeah so when you goose it sometimes with the auto set speed it's like okay you're giving me more input i'll give you a little more input it works sometimes and the same works if you disengage up, up. okay we're slowing down it's kind of like whoa what are we doing here we're in this huge parking lot oh look at it is rerouting through the middle let's go let's go we got the shortcut and we rerouted perfect now see now i like that behavior and that just goes to show you never know what's going to happen because it will reroute you in a heartbeat I can't wait till we have that auto park feature. And then we're like, it'll just pull us in and say, hey, would you like to park here? All right, so it does say navigation complete. Let's test out an auto park here real quick. Disengage, we got traffic. So let's see how it does with traffic. I'm gonna stop quick. One, two, and let's see if they get road rage. Cause look, we're pulling out towards them. You see that? And this is where it has to get much more quicker and much more faster. Because if you put, look, she, now five seconds gone by, she's already frustrated. This is for science guys. We're pulling in now. She should start her behavior should start to pull away from me. But here's the problem. If we have to do a three point turn, she's going to start pulling in now. And then we're going to fail. Let's see. Very good. Look at her driving out. She's definitely a little frustrated. She's talking to herself and she had to roll down the window. So 
let me know what you think about auto park. Is this safe to use? All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue on our trip. Put it in drive, charge up FSD. And as always, this is kind of my, oh my goodness, what do we got going? Oh, so look at that. I apologize. So these guys were coming around. FSD definitely saw them. Great test. The pedestrian behavior is on point. Left turn. Now we should have lots of pedestrians, crosswalks. We've got our first stop sign, our first speed pump, and multiple lane crossings here. Let's go. So we have some more pedestrians coming out. We're kind of inching onto this speed bump. What a behavior. That's something humans do for sure. You kind of pull up on the bump and pull down. Wait, we do have traffic behind us now. We are. Oh, we hesitated. I'm going to have to give it a little goose. But there's a car behind us here. All right, not speeding up a little bit. We got our next speed hump. Very slow, though. I mean, slow meaning we don't have to go. We could go over it faster if we needed to. Now, this does say yield right on the floor here. There's no stop signs. Let's see what happens. Just kind of just paying attention. We got our arrow on. I want to say it did yield there once, and then there might be a there might have been a stop sign in the road. Lane markings kind of washed out. We're kind of on the line. Ooh, that car was kind of getting aggressive, and we kind of cut the, we split the middle there. We are in average mode. Double check. Autopilot, average, lane, minimal lane change to off, auto, my, yep, it's all on. Oh, we stopped for the yellow arrow, and then we went back on it. Interesting. All right, guys, not sure how much I lost there. I had to turn back on the air conditioner because the GoPro did overheat, but we are on route to El Pollo Loco, 3.9 miles, nine minutes till our destination. It looks like this route is going to take us some city streets and then hop us on the freeway, exit the freeway, and see if we can pull into the shopping center. Looks pretty good. The question is, will the GoPro make it without the battery swelling <laughs> too much? When you overheat these GoPro batteries, they get hot. It's really the battery that overheats the GoPro. There's some circuit in there because if it didn't, it would just swell up and probably blow up inside the camera. These things run hot. We are just cruising. We're gonna be taking a right, going through the Montecito S turns. Microphone's still on, so that didn't overheat. Very good. Let's see if we do the full stop. All right, full stop. We're doing the creep. I still can't see to my left passes a Range Rover. I'll tell you when I can. All right, we're clear. Very good. Acceleration. Changing lanes. All right, guys, we, we overheated for a second time, so the GoPro is not going to last much longer. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. And definitely think about hitting that like button if you like the videos. And leave me your feedback. Definitely super important for me. I love it. Get ideas. And I learn something new every day from you guys. So I really do appreciate it. Let's see how she does. We'll try to go a couple more turns before our GoPro overheats for the third time. It's just because of that first 30-minute video. It's not, yeah. Doing multiple videos on the same battery. Ideally, if I brought a different battery, we'd be fine. Just swap it out. Got our left turn coming up. Now, this is another area that I made a mistake. It was driving drive into the middle lane here, just like it is now, and then not correct. But this time, we're going to have to go ahead and disengage. Failed to get into the correct left turning lane. FSD back on. The reason why I disengaged there, because that, that is a critical disengagement in my opinion, because if a cop pulls up and sees me sitting in that middle lane, it's not gonna look good. <sighs> Got our left protected. Kind of slow and hesitant. 
we were kind of going from the middle or the inside lane, then we changed our mind. I'd love to see us get back on the highway to this last part of the video. Where will the video end? When I wish there was a timer on the GoPro that showed me how much longer before it just completely shuts off again. All right, pulling up to our stop light. That car did not slow at all. I want to say they were doing about six miles an hour through that red. All right, guys, I just got honked at because I was sitting at this right. I, w I just went off into a daze there, but I was sitting at that right protected where I could turn on right on red, and I completely forgot. I'm glad that car honked finally. Great lane change there. So yeah, I, just, I got stuck at that light. I totally forgot. And what's funny is FSD didn't go right on red. We were just sitting there. That's how complacent you can get with this type of system. Because it drives so human that when you pull up to something, you think it's just going to continue to behave the way it has been behaving, right? And then before you know it, you're just sitting at the light. 